Sometimes I wonder in a maze how we came to be, how all living creatures came to be, flourishing life on this blue planet. What possible qualification does this planet has for life to evolve? We are based on carbon, so are all living creatures on Earth. Can there be another form of life? Silicon based perhaps. Is there a possibility of life on another planet? Into the deep cosmos are stars, galaxies and clumps of matter which still remain a true spectacle. Deeper and deeper into the cosmos, the stars are uncountable and they disappear, leaving the galaxies in our sight. A clump of galaxies appear before our eyes with trillions of trillions of stars within them. What foundation gave the power and energy for the stars to glow and the heat to radiate into the vast emptiness of the space? It is matter, gases and chemical reactions that are responsible for all this. Is it all a massive manufacture of the nature or is it a spectacle of the heavenly good? Is there a beginning, a proper and a believable beginning? It all began a big bang, an enormous explosion that took place 14 billion years ago. It's four forces that administer the universe. They are gravity, electromagnetism, and strong and the weak nuclear forces. Suddenly, gravity splits off, pushing the entire system into an accelerating expansion. In the first microsecond, the universe is a quark, glue and plasma, and minute, and really, really hot. The first atoms were formed beginning with hydrogen, deuterium and tritium within the first three minutes of the Big Bang. And the superinflation began. The first stars were formed after countless years which clustered together forming exotic galaxies. In one specific galaxy which was spiral in shape, a collection of dust and gas were surrounding an insignificant young star. They began clumping as a result of gravity. This process continued until about 4.6 billion years ago. The clumps of rock and gas became much larger and eventually gravity forced them into globular-shaped objects we see today known as Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune and Pluto. But Pluto was removed from its planetary status in 2006. But without thinking of the condemned planets, let's talk about the most precious and the luckiest planet of all. Earth, filled with the healthy bluish hue and the grains of the trees. We live in a small planet, the only known place in our solar system where life seems to flourish. Seen from the emptiness of space, the Earth is a colorful planet of green spaces, deserts, oceans and fields of ice. Though this is what it may be seen as at a glance, it is the backdrop of evolution of planetary life for millions of years. The earliest signs of life on Earth point out to a date beyond all others, where life evolved from single-celled bioorganism in the oceans. Millions of years later did the first backbone species of amphibians and reptiles evolved. It was 150 million years ago that the evolved reptiles ruled the world that became to be known as the age of the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs were the first dominant species to rule the world without threat of other coexisting species, but it was not to last till 65 million years ago when a sudden natural cataclysm which remains a mystery to this day wiped the dinosaur dynasty to extinction. 10,000 years ago, the first Homo sapiens appeared, humans, the most intelligent and the most developed living beings, and especially beings who can think and understand. And there was a dawn of the great civilizations all over the world. From the time of the rise of the pyramids of Egypt to the grand cities of ancient Greece and Rome, empires rose and fell over time. 
The ancient Romans and Greeks believed that the god Atlas held the world and the heavens on his shoulders. But thanks to the invention of the telescope and the sciences which uncovered the dark secrets and proved the truth. 10,000 years has passed by and here we are today in the 21st century. We have been an enormous force from the beginning and until now, making great leaps such as the launch of Apollo 11, discoveries on Mars and the exploration of other intelligent life forms in the universe. And not to forget that first cell formed underwater which began all life, even we are descendants of that cell. So we call this beginning as Aeon and it will be a landmark for the future world one day.